Okay, I'm back everyone. Uh, sorry. <laughs> the um, the camera run out of battery, so I have to come back and do the second the second box. Um, anyways, uh, so we finished uh, update the um, the BIOS the requirement to go to our next uh, version. So to verify I have the the bio update correctly so we're gonna go to chipset and ME configuration and now we have the newer firmware, uh, firmware version A10 instead earlier we have A.0 and change but now so we have a newer one um, Uh, this is new here. I see. You see, when you go to boot menu, you can see show us a window eight because this BIOS was designed during the window eight. But um, <clears throat> by the way, the reason I update, uh, I need to update my BIOS like my computer running Windows ten right now. Uh, this was Windows 7, then they upgrade to Windows 10, it's, it's uh, no problem, everything uh, run great. Uh, the reason I update is um, when computer go to sleep and you either click on a mouse or you press on any key on the keyboard or the wake up key on the keyboard, the computer won't, won't wake up. It's only wake up when you um, you press a power button and it it's, uh, it come back. And also the sound is sometimes make a lot of static, like hissing sound from the audio. Like you don't do anything and you can still hear the hissing sound from the sound port. So I'm. Um, Hoping uh, if I update the new to the latest BIOS, I hope it's gonna fix that. So that's why I'm doing this. But anyway, uh, I'm running Windows 10. Um, if you click Windows 8, and the BIOS gonna loop back to the BIOS screen, it won't let you go to the operating system. It won't let you do it. Uh, I don't know because I don't have Windows 8 installed or something but if you pick Windows 8 and you click save now I'll do how I'll, I'll do a demonstration you can see what I'm talking about it's one going to the operating system it's look back to the BIOS so you click save and reset and you see let's see it won't go to the windows, you see it. I'm gonna look back to the bio screen, see? So it won't let me go any further if I chose that. So I have to come back and pick window 7 and Autos OS. Again, I'm running window 10 right now. So if we leave it alone like that, and save and reset and and the window we go into this windows 10 uh it gives me uh, several errors um because of course the the hardware changes and uh but the uh, window 10 very smart um it's go give me an error and restart like two times and it go back to normal it look like Windows 10 doing some repairing during the boot process. Uh, of course, because the, the the bio changed and the hardware changed, that's why Windows did that. But anyway, Windows 10 uh, go back to normal, and no problem now. So what I'm doing here, I'm going to go to an update to a newer version of the BIOS. Uh, which is the latest one? I think. Let me see what the latest. Okay, here this is the latest I can find from the ECS website. 
which is 2013, but it's two years old. But anyway, so I'm going to do this. Uh, I try to do this right now. You can go to here the website. You see, you can see. Just go to uh, just go to ACS um, dot Taiwan and just um, enter your motherboard BIOS model. It should give you the disk screen. Let me see. I can go to uh, here. You see, this is the motherboard here. So audio, we have we update to the about the firmware phone firm, firmware version eight point one. This so this is what we have. Now we need to revert to the next one, which is this one. Which is uh, supposed to be a la latest, but <laughs> twenty thirteen. So I'm try to do that. Okay, so I'm back up to Windows, and um, this is the. Um, the software that's that is a, the bio name for this particular motherboard. So this is what the file look like, and you I running the 64-bit Windows. So I'm going to double click that, and this is the file you need to run. But before you do that, um, for me I go ahead and disable all the uh, antivirus software and thing like that. So anyways, I did that. You basically you click in here and you just right click and disable those um, antivirus software you have. Uh, so I did that. You don't have to, but uh, I usually do that. And um, I also uh, Window Defender. I also turn off for this particular purpose. So I go ahead and turn that off and to get to this screen you should go to this thing here and you just type in Windows uh, Defense Setting uh, see. Okay here we go You just type in Windows Defense and Setting and you could click on this thing here and that's to give you this screen Should you turn off all right, so we turn off for see give you a little I think that okay, so it's off, so I'm going to right click and run as administrator, click yes uh, so click okay. Uh, okay, so this is what I have, 64 bit BIOS, I guess all the information about uh, the motherboard I have. Okay, so I guess I'm going to open that and we're going to pick the file. With it. This is the file here, the CAP file, and click open. Okay. I look at the file open now. So we're gonna click program all blocks. Uncheck that. Restart the programming. We we can we, we can do that. So I uncheck that. So I check program all clock uh, all blocks. Uh, let's see information. Now we are good to go, so I'm going to click flash. During flash, make sure you do not turn unplug your power or anything like that. So I'm going to click flash here and see what's going on. Okay, so it do some flash in here. I see.
when it's doing this, let's hope that the power doesn't go out or anything because if the power goes out, your motherboard will be dead. So. Okay. Well, even though I click on, I uncheck the restart after restart, but it still does it. Okay, so computer restart. Let's see what's going on here. Get a user screen. Here we go. Okay, that's give you that thing right there. So we're gonna go to. Okay, so you see the date. 23rd, 23rd, 2013. Okay, now I go back to the website and look at the date. See that? Okay, so this which means the the BIOS updates right. It's all success. So I guess we just need. Okay, so we gonna press delete or F2 to enter the setup. Okay, look like we have a new user interface. Wow, nice. Um, this I I I've seen this before. This basically is a um, this bio interface is allow you to do like window. You use the mouse, you control things. Just a, it's a nicer graphic uh, uh, graphical. You see, you can do things like this. But anyway, okay, let's go here and see what version do we have. Okay, so this one say A one one two four eight. I don't know what we have earlier, but anyway, I don't remember. But anyway, um, so this uh, give us a new user interface BIOS. So it look pretty good. Um, I guess you just play with it, and uh, and that's uh, and that should be it for this video. Um, just play around and just make all the setting. Uh, where it's supposed to be, I usually go to access screen here, and I'm gonna pick restore the default okay let's see what is it look often more before look yes I press I guess press enter all right and you go to save changes and reset Yes. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. So, uh, after I restart and everything should go to default value. Now you can change this number, whatever you like, overclock or do whatever you need to. Uh, and and that should wrap up um, for this um, tutor uh, tutorial tutorial. Um, Okay. Um, I hope it's helped somebody. Um, uh, now, uh, good luck, and uh, I'll see you the next video if I have anything. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching. Okay. Um, one last note I want to make is that because I'm bringing Windows Seven. And I upgrade straight to Windows 10, so I skip Windows 8. Um, so um, after you, I update the BIOS, um, the BIOS keep look back to the BIOS. It won't go. Let me go to the Windows. Uh, the reason is that uh, 
is here you need to okay you cannot go to window 8 so I have to pick window 7 or other OS and make sure on here you pick legacy was most selected okay, either legacy or UEFI um, <clears throat> if I pick this then my computer will look back to the BIOS like earlier discussed um, so I make sure you, you do the legacy otherwise it won't work okay um, it's just in my case if you have Windows 8 installed then you shouldn't have this problem but because I have Windows 7 installed and I have the legacy uh, as a uh, boot mode select when I install 7 I guess so I cannot select uh, other option besides legacy and this will allow you to go back to Windows a normal okay 